Yes, Ms. Bobert from Colorado. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the, the failure in our Im immigration system is a wide open southern border. There are folks who are waiting in a so-called line. As Mr. Byer said, uh, most countries do not have a line. They have a lottery, and they're banned from even applying. We have the most generous uh, system in the world for bringing in legal immigrants into our country. And it's so interesting, fascinating to hear my colleagues on the other side of the aisle debate this and counter every other argument that they have in their policies. They're saying they want economic growth and the only way to get so is through indentured servitude, is through putting moms and their children in the hands of cartel, who Mr. Homan, you have said that it's the cartel who have operational control at our southern border. Is that not correct, sir? They absolutely do. So we are going to risk putting lives in the hands of the cartel to bolster our economy. My, my colleague just asked if our uh, birth rate was declining here in America, and the answer was yes. Well, of course it is. We have nearly one million abortions in our country a year, over 60 million abortions uh, since this has been illegal. And, and if that's an issue, well then we, we need to address that. If we want a, 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 an increasing, an incline in our birth rate, well let's look at our own country first, rather than putting folks in the hands of the cartel and putting their lives in danger so they can do, as my colleagues on the other side of the aisle say, uh, pick our fruit, pick our crops. Aren't, aren't the folks who are coming here to seek the American dream deserving of the American dream? Or are they only deserving to clean our toilets, fold our beds in our hotels, the sheets, and pick our crops? I think the American dream is worth much more than that, and that's why we are the most generous nation in the world when it comes to legal immigration, accepting nearly one million legal immigrants each year. Now, now Mr. Homan, as, as someone who oversaw a significant downturn in illegal, border, in, in illegal border crossings under the Trump administration, what do you believe has been the biggest driver in skyrocketing increase of illegal immigration uh, through our southern border under the Biden administration? The Biden administration's policies, catch and release. They know they cross the border illegally, they'll be processed in record time because the administration keeps sending more resources to the border, not to secure the border, but to process and release. As long as they know they can cross the border, be released, get flown or transported to the city of their choice at taxpayer's dime, get lodging, health care, three squares a day, they're going to keep coming because there's no consequence. Thank you, Mr. Homan. Now, in, in Colorado, um, we've seen fentanyl. Uh, deaths absolutely explode, uh, and thousands of illegal aliens uh, shipped in, into my state of Colorado. How do you think that uh, the American family um, ha has been most impacted uh, by the failure of this administration to secure our border and, and keep this, what I could consider, a weapon of mass destruction out of our country? Well, it's a poison, and there's, and there's a couple of things. First of all, I haven't seen this administration hold China accountable for providing the precursors that the cartels of Mexico used to create this poison. I haven't seen any accountability of this administration holding Mexico accountable for not taking on the criminal cartels. And, and it, it, the fact is, about 300 uh, children are gonna die every day, hundreds every day, and this is not gonna stop with, a, with open border. Because despite what people have said here today, I've done this for 34 years. I've investigated criminal cartels. Much of, the car, much of the fentanyl is coming through the port of entry. I don't argue that. Most, much, most of the fentanyl is seized at a port of entry because that's where they stop every vehicle. But between the port of entries and maritime from the Coast Guard, you can't make a statement saying most of the fentanyl comes through the port of entry when you don't know what the hell is coming between the port of entry, especially when most border patrol agents are no longer on patrol. I testified earlier, I've been to several sectors in the past year where every single border patrol agent was pulled off the line for days. 100 miles of border, the criminal cartel is going to use the raw to least resistance. And that's where there is an law enforcement officer. 
Yes, Mr. Homan, that's a great point because we do hear about the ports of entry a lot in this committee room, but we don't know what's coming uh, uh, across the border where it is wide open and, and there are not border patrol agents. And I love that you also highlighted the fact that the funding that's going to our border is simply to process more illegal aliens, not to secure our border. Now, going back to Colorado, um, uh, Jose Guadalupe um, Manivar, uh, uh, a loss, um, an illegal alien, uh, and forgive my uh, pronunciation of his name, but he's an illegal alien who has four previous convictions in Colorado for alcohol-related driving offenses and was previously deported four times and recently crashed his vehicle and killed a 47-year-old woman, Melissa Powell, and her 16-year-old son. The Biden regime absolutely has blood on its hands for their failure to secure our border and, and actually hold this criminal alien accountable and is resulting in the deaths of women and children here. There's many excuses that we hear from the other side uh, and uh, unfortunately one of them is to bolster our economy and that our social security system is going to decline. Mr. Byer, uh, you said that we have to raise taxes on the American uh, citizen. No, to, no, definitely not. You, you said taxes will have to go up to fund the federal government. That's what I if, expect if we, Congress will do. Well, if I'm here, we won't. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but, but this is something that we have to address so we are not having to fund $200 million annually in illegal aliens in my state of Colorado alone. Um, gentlemen, I thank you so much for your time here, for your testimonies, and for getting uh, information to the American people. And I hope we get the southern border secured quickly.